I'm that grimy. I'm God, sorry, chat. God damn it, bro. <laughs> I gotta change it. <laughs> As we're gonna swap out, we're gonna bring on the the Juan two punch of me and Retro, uh, which snag him away from multiverses. We got one more round to go. It is, of course, once again, everybody's favorite episode of. It's DDD time, actually. So the Gims always wins because the thumbnails gets to turn into uh, Kirby and DDD tonight. Yeah, I mean, I, I love seeing uh, Ling DDD. I think it actually does pretty good in this matchup. Unfortunately, it does. Light has figured it out a little bit, but we're going to see what happens. 70% um, already is not what you want to see. On yeah, I shouldn't now. have said it does. Um, he is taking 0 to 88. <laughs> he's currently getting he's currently getting mixed. He gets he gets it with the forward air, but we've, we've mentioned it many times before, but DDD has brought it to game five quite a few times. I think that Light has dramatically figured it out. Also going for the down smash there because of the weight of DDD, forcing him to have to double jump instead of going for the up smash to keep it safe. Or, I mean, excuse me, keep it on stale. It's actually really smart. Yeah, no, it's definitely one of the smartest things here. Um, Ling just kind of hanging out on the ledge, uh, very reminiscent of the Kirby game that he played earlier. But unfortunately, he's not going to work in this kind of matchup. He's much bigger. He has very slow options. Uh, like you said, Light has definitely figured out <laughs> this, this matchup. Um, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if we do see the Kirby come out in the next game because uh, the way this is when looking. We're, we're, we're going to see something. He tried to catch him maybe early side being or something like there. He's catching with the Nair and up air. So he's actually starting to bring himself back into it. One aerial back air and that's only 49%. So that does get him back in. Yeah, actually, he's very healthy for this stock. And as heavy as DVD is, he's pretty, pretty well off. He's going to re-grab here. Not going to get punished for it, though. Uh, Light probably not seeing anything worth punishing it for. I think, I think that's what it was. He's like, let me, like, I'll let you I'll let you panic, get back on, and I'll just cover what you do. That's why I went for the up air. But, with, like, I like the way Light approaches the matchup now. He does, like, once he has advantage, he's been pushing it so hard. He gets the Nair to up smash. That previous stock, he had pure dominance on it. The reason why Ling got back into it is because he got a bunch of air to airs off the Nairs. So if Light could just avoid that again, he just runs away with this. Yeah, exactly. Um, I like to see like that Ling is trying to go for the neutral B, try and carry Light off stage and kind of put him into a situation where he's at disadvantage. Um, Light is very aware of it, especially since the last game that he played was Kirby and he was doing the exact same thing. Yeah. Um, he understands the cheese at this point. Exactly. It's like, I, I'm, I'm just not falling for it anymore. But the one thing that, I mean, Ling does do a good job at least of still working around the cheese when necessary. The Kirby just got figured out, but the DDD does win on somebody's situation. That kills, and even with the good DI off to the right there, that's still killed. Yeah, uh, Ling was able to get that stock there, catching Light high up in the recovery. He's only at 98%, which actually is not too much for DDD for as heavy as he is. Uh, that said, if Light does hit get, uh, up smash here, it probably will take the stock. Getting the regrab on the... Um, on that quarter, I there. definitely think now, like at one, 121, uh, should do it. That's why he's, fish yeah, he's hunting for the Nair, doesn't get the right read on where it was going. But Ling trying to force a frame trap, and that's kind of hard to do against the, like the speed of Fox. And Ling just wants, Ling just wants his own Nair because he's actually got him at, yeah, now this is an even game. Yeah, that, honestly, that's that's, it. that's a game. Wow. So Ling went from, <laughs> from Ling went from actually <laughs> losing that pretty hard to just. Sneaking that out with the back air and taking that game there uh, all led up to just the fact that even though Light was pressuring him with his up, um, his neutral air, trying to get the up smash, Ling understood that that is probably one of the only things that he's going to go for for a little while on him because nothing else is going to kill him. So he just had to hold shield and kind of punish the options that came after. Yeah, and uh, I mean, this is pretty much how they usually go. This is kind of how this is, this is how these things happen. Apparently, I think there was a fly near them too that's kind of bothering him. But uh, Ling will get like a game to two with the DDD. He'll make it work, and then Light will just have a steamroll game. So Ling was able to do something incredible, which was he was getting steamrolled in some spots, but he understands what he needs this dude to get back in the game because no matter what, DDD survives for a while. So even though you get one stock. You have to work hard to get the other ones, and he started beating them on air to airs, and uh, he's not gonna fall for that. <laughs> no. That's a lot of jumps gone, but oh, never mind. He got, he did, he touched the wall. He got back. Yeah. So as long as he touched the ledge, he does get uh, his jumps back there, um, as well as his air dodge for getting hit. 102 percent is not looking good, but he was in a very similar situation in the last game. Back air, if it was a little stronger, probably would have gotten the stock there. But this is not Smash Four. This is Smash Ultimate. Yeah, just letting him rock over by the ledge. It's like you could do your thing, but I have not been hit once. I don't care how. All right, well, never mind. He two, get, two percent. He got he got laser. hit literally by like the weirdest amount of puke that just like that that was a, a pop gun puke that you did not want to be anywhere near. But uh, up smash, yep, catch him on the, uh, catches him on the nair. Uh, Try to come in on his way in to get like a combo starter going, but just not to work. 
Yeah, no, nothing was working there. Only 15% on light. He's definitely looking like he's figuring it out again. Not that it say that he did it in the last matchup, but Ling was mm -hmm. able to kind of take those stocks exactly where he needed to. Um, we're going to have to see Ling try and do the similar thing in this game and play on the back foot. Yeah. But a whole stock down this time. I do love how how much the, the Ling DDD continues to improve, though. Like, like Ling's, Ling's DDD has always been good, but it's truly become his main secondary. And he's currently going to have to put it possibly back into the pocket if he doesn't find an answer pretty soon because the last game one one thing that was really good was he found these air airs and he found the stock at 63 percent he put his whole damn gut on that man and said i don't need to do core workouts i'm just gonna drop this whole boulder and just take you out 63. yeah no 63 percent was just what he needed there to get back into this game now being at 130 if he could just find the right um combos to get like that damage racked up he's gonna be able to get back into this and be at a very healthy percent probably going to go for some jabs um, if possible because with Fox being a fastballer he should be able to get a lot of percent by doing that but Light is not letting him do that because he's playing a more aerial style Does game. DDD power up due to the fact that we're across the street from a pizza place and Ling has been eating a lot of it lately so he's like just adding to adding to the weight? Yes. Is that what's happening? Because he's starting yes. to get back in. Apparently the power up of the pizza is working because he catches him on the forward air and he just takes the lead! Wow, he's just catching that side B there. Obviously he has a lot of lag afterwards so he's able to get that punish. Going to get hit for the up smash for his troubles. We are now back to an even game but this was Ling down almost a whole two stocks before. So. This is a big reason why, like, Light just hates this character. Because, it, like, DDD just, just lives. Uh, he, he, multi he has multiple jumps, so it, it kind of messes sometimes with the, the combos that you're looking for. And the fact that he has a disjoint that kills him sub 80. So he is uh, he, he's going to take a lot of damage for this ledge trap, but it's on Light to... Actually close it out ASAP without staling up smash or back air a lot. So he can actually kill him in a soft spot. That's going to be a chase off the fair. Uh, the thing is, Josh, though, it's he's, still, he's it's still a good, even still game. A good spot. <laughs> um, the fact of the matter is that DDD is very heavy. And actually Ling getting those stalls there is kind of good for him. Up smash not killing there because he's just he's got too much weight on him. And now... That's our big boy. Ling is actually out of the spot where... Neutral air into up smash probably connects. Um, I, actually, no, I think I'm, I, it might. St okay, it definitely no, doesn't now. now. But not all he needs is a back air. Oh, you're forced to take, you're forced to hold shield, but like got super aggressive in that spot, got out, and yeah. you can see it's here, up smash, that backer was so close to connecting too, I just said, run it back, let's keep it going. Uh, <laughs> I just said, if you ever question, I know we've seen some times where the DDD has come out and it has gotten like, uh, like, kind of smoked but there's been also many other times where the ddd has come out and it's gone to game five yep. like this is a real character the yes. ling's ddd is the business and he makes it work against one of the best rush down uh rush down style characters in the game yeah the fact that he is one of the bigger bodies in the game says that this matchup on paper should be very bad for ddd but because he has so many disjoints very strong hitboxes hurt boxes uh, really don't matter too much to him um, once he's at those higher percents, Light has a very hard time of getting those kills. He has to make hard reads, like in that last game where he had to call out with an up smash. Mm -hmm. um, DDD Ooh. does not have to do that. No, no, no. DDD gets to play a very, DDD plays a very different game by comparison to uh, what a lot of the other heavies normally would do, and that is, that can become the most frustrating part for many characters. But like Light just plays around that and understanding that he, ha he had a weird drag down there so he's just going to go for a tech chase but Ling getting directly up that up air will kill and that's going to give him uh, the first time so far yeah, in the set a a, like an actual advantage. solid lead. Yeah, he actually has a stock advantage at this point and with a character like this is a big advantage because like we were saying earlier, Light is going to have a harder time killing DDD um, at these higher percents whereas DDD now getting the ability to get some extra credit on the board and almost get just a gimp overall. <laughs> oh, never mind. Well, there goes the lead. That is like the third time today where we've seen the the inhale attempts between the Kirby and this, and uh, it somehow worked out in favor of Light. Oh, that was really smart. Going for the down smash, he forces the double jump. He tries to catch him with the down air, but he does not connect. However, um, actually, no, never mind. No, bad I'm times. Bad times. Help! <laughs> he can't touch I'm, the ground. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that Ling doesn't go for more down tilts against the illusion. Oh. Um, down tilt being a kind of a safe option and pokes him out of it. Uh, it sends him at a pretty bad angle. I think you're onto something in the fact that he's probably going to go for it soon. 
Because I think he's saving that option for like a late game because that's normally one of your most obvious like lead trap reactions to that, right? Yeah. I think he's trying to continue continuously get the timing on the back air, which he's gonna lose that stock, but he's been able to consistently find these aerials, right? Yes. At late game, with it like the moment's crucial, he might pull that out so he can get a guarantee it. He just took 47% for existing. Uh DDD being that big boy, rising up at the forward air. I feel like that moment from what you said might be coming soon. Yeah, I feel like he needs to pull something out. If he wants to stay in this game, up tilt is it definitely an option that That is he a whole Mario up smash. So 55% is looking really good, actually. So maybe he doesn't need to do the down tilt yet. Mm -hmm. uh, probably in this stock, he, to get it, he will probably go for it. But he's going to have to land on the ground without getting hit by Fox in yep. order to do so. Because he just took up to 105% and he, is now in a very bad situation. He actually air dodged in towards center purely to take the minimal amount of damage he could off the combo. Because if you air dodge in that platform, you're taking three up airs. Air dodge to center, you're taking a dash attached attack and probably a fair. So Ling just trying to minimize the damage as much as he can. But 39% not getting caught by the, the up smash, which I don't know. I don't think it would have killed to that spot, even though it's relatively fresh. But just missing it, that Ooh. one probably would have killed. And the up air on the anti-air. Not or, yet. 136. He's just not able to get that just yet. But this up air, on the other hand, he's going to have to Ooh. DI out and go off stage. Not we'll gonna get, get hit by the fair. Just oh, barely my missing God. It. Yeah, he got through with, uh, with the rising oh, up air. That kills. Is going to that kill. Well, woo, 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 woo. running it right back. Link brings it to <laughs> two to one. Um, yeah, so Link brings it to two to one, and uh, we are seeing what could be potentially a bracket reset if Ling is able to make this DDD continue to work. Hey, I mean, it's definitely working. It's gotten two games, which is two more than the Kirby did. And on top of that, he's actually putting pressure on light for as much as he's getting knocked around. He's kind of doing the same with less hits. He's able to get them off stage, get those interactions that are leading to these stocks to get taken at an early percent. And we're just going to run it back to PS2. No need to, for either of these people to switch. They understand that at this point in the game, they're just working with each other at that point, mm -hmm. learning neutral from each other. So stage picks don't really matter. At the end yeah, of the I think that, that's, I mean, we, we I think we mentioned this last week too. Like it's at that point where they play each other so much that it's like just run, just run it back to the main, uh, the, the main neutral stage. We always go here because uh, if we're, we, we cycle between PS like like PS2, the battlefield, or after year or something, and it just becomes the same thing every week. So this year, like they're just keeping it going, same neutral game, same options, same punishes. But the difference is this time it's with DDD instead of the Peach. Yeah, the DDD is definitely putting a lot of work into this matchup too. A link being two one over light right now in the loser's side. He has a very good chance of resetting the bracket. Yeah, he, he's uh, he's playing just like he wants it to. He's he's hovering around that ledge like yep. I am not I am not approaching you, bro. I am not I'm not going near you until I get to center stage and try to play it out. And that's the smart way to do it because. Uh, you need to wait and get stuff like that so you can beat out light. You do not want to let him pressure you on shield. Ooh. You need to beat him out in the air. That sent straight down into the stage. That backer will send him straight off. I feel like he might have been holding out. Probably. If that, if that hit. <laughs> He's if, trying to go for the, the sneaky stuff now, going for that hammer. A uh, very slow option. Not going to work on Fox just yet. But 51, 63% for your troubles. That's the heavy tax. <laughs> just, yeah. just 0 to 60 in less than a second. Uh, like It's just... It's just what it is. That that's a that's that's a good engine right there. But now you're gonna take an up smash, and there is a stock. Yeah, you cannot touch DDD's shield like that, especially with one of the laggiest options in the game, which is jab and universally punished in this game. Um, Ling, 75% now is still in a very good spot, even though he does have the percent disadvantage. He's going to be able yeah, to. Yeah, how many how many times have we seen so far where this spot has been like this? Yep. And then Ling won. Like this is that's a. I think the first two games, uh, pretty much. Actually, no. The the one he won last was uh the, the way it ended up in his way. Different, actually. He, the the first the third game, the one he just won, like you said, was the only one where he actually had a stock lead in the very beginning. A uh, hundred and eight percent, though. This is looking pretty rough. Gonna get hit by his own. That's Gordo. quite a few jumps, yeah. So you're forced to have to upbeat the ledge, and then he doesn't fade into that. But that time. Getting around uh, the backer, the, you, Light's been pretty good on point to actually hit those Gordos back, but he messed up that time. Gets the dash attack, forces the air dodge, tries to catch him over on the ledge. Ling rides to it a fair last time, gets directly up in front of it. That's a very small shield. That should be a... No, actually, yeah. it was a little out of position to punish it, but it's all good because Light is just so calm in those up-close situations that Ling was just beating Essa on a bunch. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Light was able to recognize there that he didn't have many more options to go and was able to chase him down all the way. 
down air is a very good option. How'd you do that, bro? Them, the, I want them shoes. Like he just straight, <laughs> he just straight up did a whole drill on top of a spike ball. Your feet should be split, like splintered at minimum. At but, minimum splintered, but uh, he just came out of it ahead. Actually, he looks better than ever. Sixty-eight percent to forty, though. I mean, in a situation like this. As we've been seeing, Ling has just been able to get stocks as early as this 81%. If he got hit by that up air, he was dead. Yeah, if that air dodge lasts long enough, too, he would have got him with a nair. He t uh, th that usually works very well against most characters because it takes your jump. But unfortunately for Light, he, he's that's attached to DDD. However, he still has such a massive lead that it's, he's just kind of just control the pace of the game. Catches him on that. That is going to be with good DI still alive. It's DDD. Yeah, 135% is not enough to take out this character with that option just yet. Um, he's kind of going for a few options here, trying to get something working. 135%, he can't afford to get hit by options like that. And we're going to go into 5. He actually <laughs> thought the set was over. Didn't realize that he was 2-1. to one. He's now asking for a set count. <laughs> Ling actually thought he Hold lost. On. So we're going to go into game five. It looks like they're just running it back to PS2. They're actually going right now. AJ's going to just, you know, go sun them a little bit. Go let them know that it is two to one. No, it's it's two two right now, yeah. <laughs> Ling, you didn't lose yet. So Ling actually gets an extra game. Because he thought that it was already 2 2. <laughs> Let, so Par we're going Paris to literally had to argue with him. It's like, no, bro, it's 2 2, lose. bro. You still you have lose. you still have games. It's not over. <laughs> Ling was ready um, to throw unless, it all away. A lesser person would have said, all right, fine, we'll take those. I guess all he had to win two games in the set. But <laughs> hey, I mean, if that's all he wants to play, who can say otherwise? Uh, but yeah, I mean, going into this game five, they're going to go back to the same stage. I think that if it continues to go as the way it did, Ling will reset the. Bracket. I mean, Ling could very much reset the bracket right now. I feel like, <laughs> granted he was ready to part. He was ready to exit the building uh, a second ago. Well, like that right now, uh, he's had such a good opportunity of closing out games post leads because that's just the way DDD has to operate in this matchup. Yep. And his option coverage has been so good that forces him to go. <laughs> oh, great angle. That's fine. You don't die there unless he was able to position himself for an up smash. But he was so it, the dash attack's Ooh. too laggy. Yeah, he's just trying to go for these confirms at this point. And Light recognizing that the up smash is not going to kill there. He doesn't want to steal it. So he actually went for a Nair there to knock him off stage. Mm -hmm. Now he's at 119. Never mind. He's dead. 119 on the DDD. Um, he's got the lead again. And very reminiscent of game three. When he had a lead, he took the gate. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's. the sour spot, the up smash, not taking. That's actually heart right, heart wrenching. Yeah, that happened so often last week against Peach when he had a, uh, when he had the Peach out. He was perfectly timing the ending frames of uh, the invincible, like the invulnerability that you have at the ledge, uh, with the down smashes. So that's uh, well, that that this. I know that we should be freaking out about that combo, but it's Fox versus DDD, so it, that that happens every time. But now can Light actually kill first? That's the, been the biggest issue. He's all right. That's not going to kill either because DDD is a thickum. But he next one will take him out. Yeah, next one will take him out. One hundred forty percent now. Oh, not going to get the hit there. He's just His command grabs are actually connecting a lot, yeah, Josh. The, <laughs> the command grabs are are putting in so much work. Ooh, just barely missing the fair there. Going to get back here. That is going to take the stock. <laughs> <laughs> what Light was talking to when he looked back at the crowd and just like started popping off. And now uh, it's looking like Light might like actually end the show a little earlier than we expected for a second there because Ling, uh, actually never mind, Ling might be making me a whole liar. He's he's got him at kill percent. Uh, he's now at 92% though in the next That's up fine. air will kill. I that, mean. That, it's not as fine. It's, it's all right, now it's now it's not fine. <laughs> he's hey, dying to that though. Oh, oh never mind. Ooh, good actually, DI. He finally got out of one. Yeah, the DI on that was immaculate. His uh, jump's Axel's gone. Gonna kill. He's going to get down to the first trouble. We finally get to see the kill there. Uh, it was probably the most obvious option. Though. Yeah, uh, that was the best thing because his jump was already gone. So he had to, he, like, he, using the reflector on the Gordo was very smart, but the down tilt covers that every time. You're talking about how he didn't use it earlier, yep. but it came through that time. He's at 128, though. Uh, fresh Fox up smash in, like, maybe another 12% should kill outright, but. Right now, he has a DI window, and yeah. I think that's why he's trying to camp him with these uh, with these shots. Oh, but, but this is not working out. He's not at 59%. Never and mind. And there it is. <laughs> All right, and Light is the <laughs> Towers take over. Actually, uh, isn't it It's technically different? Vortex Legends, but because the graphics are the same, it still seems like Towers take over, but I might just switch it just for this week so until we get the ledge uh, stuff. But Light popping off, like, a 
goof uh, winning today. I but mean, he almost lost that set it, and would have had to play more games. Well, it, it, who that wants is true. to do that? What, when he could just win the whole the whole tournament in just one set, why why wouldn't he? That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. You, you know. You know what? You do know after having that. Go the way it was going, dropping the set to the DDD. Then you got to deal with it potentially again. Uh, the DDD continues to work someday. Some days it doesn't. Some days light just steamrolls yeah. it. But it's almost always in grands when he gets a reset. It's usually sometimes it's through the DDD. It's the DDD has won him more games against light than his Peach. It's kind of crazy because like Peach will get it to game five, but he doesn't close it. And nope. then the DDD will keep consistently getting the game five too. I think that Ling has an understanding of what he needs to do to get the W against light. It's just that lights. Uh, oppressive abilities are just so good. He chokeholds you in spots where you feel like yes. you're winning, and you just it, it's hard to shut it down him against uh, against him sometimes. And the thing is too is that that peach in a situation where the DDD would have been would have died to those up smashes. So in a lot of these situations, like DDD is living at a higher percent than Peach ever would mm -hmm. get to. And the fact that, you know, Light just kind of cancels out the fact that Peach even has a float just with the fact that he can just up Big smashes. true. Also, uh, not so true. Waffle Man, I won't see you Friday because I will be at MomoCon. But you will see everybody else here Friday because make sure uh, you all keep an eye out for a Vortex Calamity. That is the Friday weekly uh, Smash GG that you're going to be looking for. And then this one for this week will be going live tomorrow, which is Vortex Legends now. Uh, the Towers Takeover is going to be moving back to Milford at some point. Uh, for those of you who are asking those questions all the time, once that venue reopens because they're currently moving, uh, we will be back over there. But, yes, that is – hello. You po you popped off, you – you popped off, you goon. <laughs> Give me money. Yeah, and we saw you on the side of the camera just, like, get up and, like, do something like no, that. I, there was a bug in my face. Oh. If you look at the camera, I'm I saw you swing face. at one earlier, yeah. yeah. No, but, like, the entire last, like, match, he was just in my fucking face. <laughs> so I'm, like, freaking out. I'm not paying attention. I just throw out up smash and just hit someone. Okay, so, <laughs> so confirm Light was actually fighting a 2v1 because it was a fly that kept getting that kept flying around his face. Link paid <laughs> that fly off. <laughs> Link, Link tried to cheese his way through. <laughs> damn, bro. Look, hey, Smasher's thing confirmed. But, um, so... Hey. hey yo! <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, so that that's it for us tonight. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and shut things down right yep. now. Um, I'm gonna go back to multiverses that you pulled me away from. Yeah, well, I mean, that's how it works. Uh, so yeah, we, we <laughs> got we got multiverses to play, but also we got more times to talk to you guys later because I will probably still see y'all on this same stream well, tomorrow. Actually, weren't you going to leave the stream up for multiverses? You said you were. You said you were going to do it for the clips. You can't be a liar now. Everybody's watching you. You got 31 people who are now just watching you just like, well, I was going to end the stream, but he did bring up a fact that I did say earlier. I did say that. You did say that. I did say that. Okay, we could set up the stream to have it be like that, but I got to do We work. might have to cut the stream a little I, I, bit. I got to do back. work now to fix it. So, <laughs> I got to. Well. So, we'll have a short intervention and then maybe be back for that. Yeah, maybe, actually, no, we'll. we'll I'll go. I'll go live again. We're gonna end it for right now because we got a oh, we got a while before we get this set up properly, and uh, then we're gonna play dubs. I don't know if y'all are playing dubs right now. I mean, I don't have my controller. That's okay. That's not how that works. I mean, it could be. No, it's up to you. I mean, you and Chavo probably get a body stuff, anyways. But anyways, all right. So we'll see. The rest of y'all on Friday for the Smash Tournament stuff. I know we're going to go ahead and get this situated in a second for Multiverse Stream. And uh, keep an eye out for that. And also, my Batman guide is coming very soon. And I'll Not talk good. to you all about the Community Tournament stuff that I have planned for Multiverses when that comes out later, too. So, for now, we'll be back. Okay. We'll see you later.